going on guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Amir and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do the supercharger oil change on a car like this. And yes, it's an enclosed unit. It's really easy to do. Shouldn't take more than about 15 minutes. I'm going to take you step by step on how to do the oil change. Before we begin the oil change, I want to go over the unit real quick so you guys understand all the parts to it and understand how it's going to work. So pretty much this is the actual unit, this is the actual blower unit and you have these two uh, bolts and they're allen wrench bolts. Now with this one, this is the one that we're going to actually take off and fill a new oil into it. There's actually a dipstick in there that we can read the level on how much oil is stored. Now because this is an enclosed unit, it's not fed from the motor. So that means that the oil that's inside of your engine is separate from the oil in here. This is an enclosed unit, so the oil that's in here stays in here. And it keeps everything running correctly and keeps everything lubricated. Now that oil goes bad, it gets old. Now, if you guys look at this, this is the drain line. This is the line that we're going to use to empty the oil that's already inside of here. Now, the reason that it sits like this is because I ended up zip tying it to this point. But some people have this line sitting on the bottom of the car. And all you do, all you do is unbolt this and all the oil will come out. Now the first thing what I'm going to do is cut the zip tie that I have here holding the drain line in place and I'm gonna actually loosen this just a little bit so I don't have to fight it underneath the car. So I'm going to cut this real quick right there and you see how loose this is? Now I'm gonna just route this somewhere down there so that I can have uh, access to it. And I'm about to loosen the bolt that is attached to the drain line so I don't have to fight it underneath. Now you don't want to loosen it to the point where it leaks, just a little bit where you can actually unscrew it by hand, but not all the way where it actually will leak right on the floor. Now this is the little pan I'm going to use, see it's really shallow, it'll hold all the oil that the unit actually has. I just got to find a spot down there so I can route this line, unscrew this and drain the oil out. Alright, let's get that oil out of there, hopefully I don't get any on the garage floor. Alright, there it is. Is it the right spot? All right, let me unscrew that bolt. And you'll see, well, it's coming right out. There it is, my hands are already like a pinkish red. All right, there it is. Yep, it's coming right out. As the oil is coming right out on the bottom, what I also like to do is undo this and so the oil actually can escape a lot quicker. Just be careful not to uh, drop this. You might have a hard time finding it. I've done that and I've learned that the hard way. Now while we wait, I want to show you guys the oil that I'm going to be putting inside of the supercharger after we drain it. This actually came from uh, a a Corvette. When I ordered my kit, I got two of these little bottles. And this is all you really need. Uh, one bottle per uh, oil change. And these are small bottles. I'm going to have to order some more oil online. But uh, this is the oil I use. This is actually meant for the Vortex supercharger. You can actually see the brand right there. And uh, this actually also works for the Paxton superchargers. All right, that looks like it's all done. And this is the oil. It looks pretty good, actually. Uh, I probably could have held on on the oil change, but I'd rather do the intervals a lot more frequent and be safe than sorry. It does look a little darker on a darker side, but that's okay. I, I feel like it has plenty of life in it. Okay, and now I'm going to uh, grab the drain line that's hanging down there and bring it back up and zip tie it in a secure place where it doesn't really vibrate against any metal or anything like that. Some people choose to uh, use like a one hole strap and mount it on the bottom and keep it down there. Now I'm going to take this little bottle, put this cap on that came with it, and I'm going to start filling up the oil in the same spot right here. They say it's slightly less than uh, a whole bottle, but what we're going to do is I'm going to fill up probably about 90-80% of the bottle and then I'm going to use a dipstick and check um, for the oil that goes in there. Sometimes I even leave the bottle like this and just let it all drain out. And when you do tighten this back, don't over tighten it. And I do want to thank you guys for checking out the video. I hope it helps you guys do oil changes on your own blower units. Now 
why pay somebody else to take care or maintain your car when something like this can be done by yourself and you can save money in the long run plus you get familiar with knowing your own vehicle which is uh, a good thing for all of us now i do want to thank everybody again and all my subscribers for being so supportive and helping me grow throughout this whole process and it really does motivate me to keep pushing and making more videos for you guys and if you have any ideas of things that you would like me to do or things that you want to do in your own car but you're really unfamiliar of how to do it and I can be in some sort of help hey leave some comments down there and I can even email you guys back and forth and pretty much help you do the things that you guys want to do okay guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so so you don't miss any new content take care and be safe